up you guys welcome back to my channel i just got off of work so i'm a little bit tired my makeup's a little bit runny but i cannot carry this box for the life of me i think this is the heaviest box i've ever gotten but jesus christ do you see who that is <gasps> probably not it's probably like too zoomed in but i will show you the box once i take everything out of here just so it'll be lighter but today we are unboxing the one and only nana figure by um we are a design and i got this off of we are anime collectors.com i think is the website i this is one of my most anticipated figures this year this one's a little special because i did buy something with it uh that you know it's like a little bonus that you can buy it's like an optional bonus that you can buy some of you probably already know what it is some of you might not but i think the thing that i bought with it adds so much more to this figure and i'm genuinely ah uh, i'm so pumped okay so uh make sure you like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comment section below and here we go i'm like getting right into it this time i don't know how i'm actually going to unbox this because i my camera's already shaking this is like the heavy heaviest i've ordered resins before okay but this is by far the heaviest resin i have ever gotten in the mail like i don't even know how i got this thing up the stairs i have no room to unbox this oh i'm so scared okay ah uh, i want to pick this up and show you like everything that comes inside and how it looks all packaged up but i don't know how i'm going to carry this without breaking my back and dropping literally everything i'm going to try and i'm going to be so upset if i ruin this okay so it comes in this big ass heavy styrofoam and there are like two or three tiers i can't really tell and everything comes in pieces like that i hope you can see you can see my face turning red oh my god first off <gasps> Ooh, I think this came with like a little extra bonus. Oh my god, this is so cute. Is this a magnet? I think this is a magnet. Hold on. It is. It came with this Hachi and Nana magnet. Look at that. Ah! And this is, uh, this design is on the box. Actually, speaking of the box, that's so cute though. This is like, um, an acrylic heart. And then again, it's like a magnet on the back. How fucking cute that is. Okay. Um, but speaking of the box, let me show you the box first before I forget. When I when when I saw the packaging, I screamed. Hopefully you can see that. But look at this. Look how cute. You got the 707 apartment key. You got the cake uh, that says black stones on it. And then you got Hachi and Nana. So this is the same picture that's on the magnet. And then you got more black stones. And then you got Nana. Look how oh, pretty she is. Oh, the glass is right there. And then we got Nana right over there with another glass. Imagine if the glass was broken. So first up, I guess let's take out Nana's body. Here she is. Look at that. And she's wearing um, the sparkly shirt. And it looks like she's supposed to come with a cigarette. So I gotta find that somewhere in here. The fishnets are real, okay. Um, look at that, crossing her legs. And then let me try to find her head. And here's her head with her beautiful, beautiful short hair. And she's got her piercings in. Um, she's got her makeup on. Look at that beautiful red lipstick. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, put this together. And um, sh her head is, uh, or like her neck, has a magnet in it so it attaches really well to the uh body part or body or yeah body we have my girl hachi rocking the all pink look look at that she's like she's like a bubble gum hachi is the anime barbie and i'm not that's not like up for debate or anything she is the anime barbie next up her head was right next to Nana's in the packaging. There you go. With her cute hairstyle. That is Hachi. 
and there she is i will of course show you guys b-roll when everything is like set up i'm just trying to <laughs> take this thing one step at a time because there's so much to get through and then this figure comes with her bag it says silver spoon it's just a pink bag i'm telling you she's like rocking the all pink look look at that wow okay girl i see uh nana's ashtray and then their 707 apartment key they're pretty small so i'm gonna put them to the side actually for now uh and then show you like the rest of like the bigger objects just so i don't lose those smaller ones because you know me <laughs> uh okay Ooh, this is so cool okay we got nana's guitar in here inside her guitar bag Look at those folds. Are they not sick? Look at that like button thing. Doesn't that look kind of real? At least on camera, it looks pretty real. Let me go on to the second tier of this box. So we got a whole ass table in the second tier. Um, how freaking cool is that? Uh, this is the table that sits by the window of their apartment, if you don't know. We've got a chair or a bench. It actually has weight to it. I'm like very shocked because the table is like very light. That was chair number one or bench number one. This is bench number two. Okay, so before I move on, I just wanna say it is so exciting to get another Nana figure. Um, there was an officially licensed Nana figure that recently came out, I do own them. Uh, however, those two figures don't really look like um, they go together. You can like buy one or the other. It's good because you don't have to really worry about getting both and feeling like one's out of place with, without the other. But also it's nice to have that option where they do, where there are figures where they do go together. And, and not only that, but it's so exciting to have one where the figure's concept takes place somewhere where both of them just forget about their problems and just come back to the apartment and just sit together and spend time together and just relax together and just chat and oh it's so so exciting i love seeing these two spending time together in their little apartment every time i see them spending time in the little apartment of theirs i think of a nana's quote that was telling hachi that whenever a guy made her cry or whatever she can always come home and smile and you know that 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 cute quote Nana says, it's also kind of heartbreaking because of where the, the storyline ended. <laughs> but also it reminds me of the quote where Nana or Hachi talks about wanting to live in a house with a garden. But you also know that she's kind of content being with Nana in this apartment as well. I don't know. So to kind of amplify the concept of this figure and uh, break my heart even more, but also <laughs> make me happier in a way, I bought the what's it called like acrylic case that that's optional to go with this figure and the acrylic case is literally it's a background of the apartment where they sit down at in front of the window and chat and look at this setting like i this is so pretty um so i can't wait this is this is what I was like mainly excited for. Yes, I was excited for the figures themselves, but I was like mainly excited for putting them inside this display case because it just brings this, I feel like it would bring this concept and these characters um, to life so much more. I also can't remember if the display case lights up. I think it does. Is that satisfying? So I was typically going to unbox this off camera and then just like go on camera and talk about it. But I feel like there's so many parts of this figure that I, I don't know, I feel like it would be more fun to put it together on camera and see um, it build. Oh my God, look at that. Oh my God. Okay, so I don't know if this is supposed to be at the, <gasps> no way. Oh, oh my god, I just saw something that, oh my god, okay. <laughs> I did not know this figure came with that. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> One at a time. Okay, I think this is the, this is upside down. Okay. I think this is the base where the, for the display case. Yes, okay. Oh, this one comes with an on and off switch. <gasps> Does this come with batteries? Do I need batteries for this? Oh my god. So this opens up. 
this opens up ow oh my god y'all i need batteries okay let me find batteries i'll be back hold on i got batteries guys i am so smart i knew i would need batteries one day okay moment of truth does this light up it's not even on hold on <laughs> okay oh i see oh wait that's so weird i don't know oh okay <gasps> so the actual nana light or the nana sign <laughs> lights up oh my god and the, the actual light is at the bottom ah! okay i am actually so happy that you don't have to plug this in for it to light up because my boongo stray dogs double black one needs a wire to be plugged in and it's just so annoying trying to hide the wire and figuring out where ah, it's, it's so annoying how do i put on the actual display case though i am not smart for this y'all okay oh there's another little base no, oh, I'm so confused right now. Hold on. Okay, I think this is the bottom because it has the little non-slip things and it has these like slots and I think these, this is where the acrylic panels fit into for the base. Okay, I don't know what this, all right, whatever. Oh, <laughs> I'm so silly. Oh my God. Okay, I got it, I got it. Okay, before I close the case, I have to put the figure in first, but I want to show you this is what it looks like this um top part with the nana sign is actually the the top the cover um and that's what it looks like okay the display case on its own now let me put this down because yeah it's not connected as you can see bases of the floor the tile floor of the apartment um, and then you can see those holes are where the table and the benches fit and then at the, on the back we got we got the basically the the same design as on the box except it's like all uniformed and everything uh it says uh, what number figure you have out of 288 i got an ugly 48 i wish it was 50 but all right i'll take i'll take an, a 48 over like a 47 or a 46 45 would have been nice too but you know the um, bottom of the chair legs are have magnets on them. So even though they fit into the hole of the base, they stick there too, like really snug because of the magnet. So this is what it looks like so far. Look at that. Here's what they look like sitting on the actual chair. You can't even see it. <laughs> You'll be, it'll, it'll look better on the B-roll. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys all the small stuff that's supposed to be like spread out around the table. And I think, um, also Nana's uh, cigarette. I guess I'll just take out the first thing I see. This is Nana's ashtray. Okay, this, this girl, piece of styrofoam. Okay, the seven of, uh, the ashtray right over here, that looks like literal silver, like, or like melted metal, but okay. <laughs> and then we got the 707 apartment key. Uh, right there oh that's so cool we got we have four cigarettes that it comes with some of them are like bent because i guess nana like put them out so the, those go on top of the ashtray that's such a cute detail i really do like that so i have one in between her fingers uh and then what else do we have i think this is the cake yes okay this is a slice of strawberry cake that is supposed to, damn with the styrofoam, okay. That is supposed to um, sit in front of Nana. I feel like there's supposed to be a plate that comes with it because there's no way that that <laughs> cake just sits on the table. Oh, we've got a pearl necklace. I think I'm supposed to put that on Hachi. I forgot about that to be honest. All right, I'm gonna put that on Hachi. Okay, I put the pearl necklace on Hachi. And then, what is this? Are these the, Okay, we got cup number one or glass number one with the little red strawberries. Okay, and then what's next? Oh, I think this is the plate for the cake. Yes, the little platter for the cake. It does come with these. These are like little little sticky foam thingies. I think it's for meant for the bottom of the base so it doesn't scratch your like shelf 
or your detail for whatever, or even the acrylic. Y'all, if I lift this, do you think I'd break it? <laughs> okay, no. Oh, now I gotta open it back up, but that's how it looks. Every time I test my luck with these figures. Oh my God, this is an action. Y'all, the front of the display case, the front acrylic panel of the display case opens like a door and I am pissed. The hard part is done. Now let's talk about what I like and dislike about this figure. Um, so I had to actually think about that while I was putting it together. There are a few things that I don't like. The simplest thing that I don't really like is the um, accessories that go on the table or like even the guitar that leans on to uh, the chair that Nana sits in. I wish those also had a magnet on them just because one slight movement, I feel like it'll just fall off. Same with the little trinkets and whatnots on the table, especially because they're smaller items and they're easy to lose. I just feel like that would have been more convenient too. Um, and probably more necessary than the guitar. Not a lot of shading on them really. That's That was kind of a disappointment. And then the cups. The cups are so important and they look very frosty. So much that they kind of look dirty. Like I feel like I got a dirty, a dirty cup. In terms of the actual figures themselves, I think they overall look really great. The biggest prop, I shouldn't say that. Nana looks great. Hachi, unfortunately, <laughs> she looks good but I think Hachi or Nana looks better. Uh, Hachi's dress, first of all, I don't know if the texture on her dress is supposed to mimic like the material that she's wearing. I don't know what kind of material that would be that it's trying to mimic, or if it's like a, like a painting error or if it's just like bad paint work, uh, but it's got like, her dress has a lot of texture to it. That's a little rough. I don't, I don't really know how to explain it. I think, uh, you guys will see it better on camera and hopefully you'll know what I'm talking about then. I know I said she's like the anime Barbie, but I don't really like her outfit. I don't like the outfit they chose for her. I'm just saying maybe you do, but I do not. It's not even that it's too much pink to me. I think I just don't like the outfit period. Like I don't like what she's wearing. Maybe it's like the tights that ruin it and the shoes, the shoes are kind of really ugly. I'm gonna be honest, the shoes are hideous, but she's still my girl. Shading wise, the shading's not really anything to go crazy over with the actual figures. Um, the table, the tiles, and the chairs have the best shading. The guitar has um, like the best folds and whatnot, like uh, material wise. The hair sculpts are pretty nice though for the actual figures. Oh, and going back to Hachi, I already saw this and I already didn't like it when I saw the prototype, but I love the concept so much and I love this whole, I love everything about this figure, just like the, the essence of the figure itself I love um, so much that I, I didn't really care about this issue. Hachi's face, like, there's no emotion behind it. She looks so, she looks like, she looks like a Muppet and she looks like she has no soul behind her eyes. I do not like it. I'm, I'm actually at least thankful that she's like, that, she, that you look at her profile when she's displayed in front of you instead of getting her face in front of you dead set. And it sucks so much because Hachi is actually my favorite uh, in this series. And yeah, they did, I feel like they did her dirty in that sense, but it's okay. Uh, again, I am in love with the concept. I, I was super excited to get this. I already knew what was coming and how it was gonna look in the prototype. It looks exactly the same as the prototype anyway, at least to me. And then like I said, like the most exciting part of this is the entire concept and the display case that just brings it all together. And when you look into this box, it's like, I don't know, it's like a little glimpse back into the series and a little glimpse into their like peaceful life, I guess, together. I think it's so calming and serene. I feel like when I look at this figure, and the concept or just an image of them in this apartment together sitting next to the window in the tiny apartment um just sitting and chatting 
the song that I think of every time is No Surprises by Radiohead. And it gets me every time, like it, it never fails to like make me want to sob when, when I think of these two with that song. Um, so every time I look at this <laughs> figure, that's the song I'm going to be thinking of. Um, it's beautiful, but also very, very sad. <laughs> But I love this. Like, I feel like if I move out, this is like gonna be one of the centerpieces in, um, I hope to God one day to have like an actual collection room. So this would be like the centerpiece. This, I, I, I cannot tell you how much this figure hits for me. I think that is it. Again, I'm gonna try to get a good B-roll. Forgive me if I can't. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Did you get this figure or what did you think about this figure? Did you also get the other Nana figure? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.